Whoa. Well, welcome to Tough Crowd. See what? That's the uh, parents coming out of the screening of Real Cancun after they saw their kids. Now, what are we going to do about Islamic extremists? If I was going to fix Islam, if somebody wants a solution, I'd say, first of all, you can quote the Koran, but you can't keep using it as a how-to book. And uh, the opening page has more violence than the first two seasons of Sopranos. Let's face the facts. <laughs> Number two, lose the stuff about the women, okay? We all want to treat all women as second-class citizens, but could you do it like we do so they think it's their choice? The, uh, you know, I mean, burkas are much less degrading than drink beads, right? Third, you might want to lose the clitorectomy and the stonings of the rape victims, okay? At some point, you're going to have to realize that the rest of the world sees you as the drunk cousin at the barbecue that we know beats his wife, but we don't want to deal with it unless you do it in front of us. Well, you did it in front of us on 9-11, and now, whether you like it or not, we're pulling an intervention. Okay, last week, over a million, uh, you know, Shiites marched on Kabbalah and slicing up their heads in kind of a religious devotion thing. So, the point is, can we deal with the Islamic, uh, the real fundamentalists without violence? Easy, Al? Uh, you know, Colin, after dealing with the nuns at Catholic school, any group that hits themselves in the head for religious reasons is okay by me. <laughs> as long as they keep the heads themselves, is that it? That's right. And they're easy to pick out. You have a gash on your head, you're easy to pick out in the crowd. That's true. So they don't threaten me. What do you guys think? About, what do you guys think? They got boils. That's why they lance it, and that's why it is blood. When they got boils, that's what it is. <laughs> Who cares if they slice themselves apart? Who gives a damn? Let them get out of the planet. Let them leave town. I'm Who cares? I got so many hey, subjects. Who cares? That's yeah. right. I like that, Pat. Thank you. That is a good point, but there's one other point you guys are missing. <laughs> when you say who cares about a certain subject, that's the subject not we the have. Subject, it's the we have on the show. Then we're not just the hanging subject. up. He, not the subject. <laughs> the fact that they cutting themselves up. That's yeah, right. Let him call him, kill himself. I'm with him and then bring him fresh hey. blood. I'm I mean, with the, my the reality is that Islam is a violent and absolutely violent and intolerant religion. I, I don't know anything about it, but that's what my friend. They make the mafia look gay. Ginsburg. So they make the mafia look gay. That's right. You heard what I said. But the, hey, <laughs> Pad's loaded for bear tonight. Oh, he's really ready. My dad is really ready to go. But do you think the? Uh, don't, do you think that we should, what, what are we going to do about this situation? Now Leave gonna, it alone. Do, take a do, walk. We can't let drop dead. <laughs> Thank you. Time to go screw themselves. Hell Dude, with what it. What about what, Colin? All, All of a sudden, we, we want to be in freedom over there. So we got to let them uh, worship. They don't they want freedom. You, don't, you want to play with their camels. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. That's all Good. I know. Camels and goats and no love for the women. But That's we're right. over there right now. Okay? We gotta, you think those guys are going to look good doing that kind of stuff in the Halliburton like employee lunchroom? You know, we're doing <laughs> business over there, aren't we? Well, the point is, the whole point of this war, wasn't it, to, it was to stop the terrorism, make ourselves safer? If we allow an Islamic extremist state to form, that's not going to make us any safer. Now you're going to have problems. Now you're going to have two sets of, of warriors. You're going to have the shites, and you're going to have the, Kurd the Kurdishes or the shites or the shoots. What do you call those people there? They're fighting each other. They all wear the same sheets. You know, who the hell's the sheets? Who's the shite? Who's the Kurdishes? See? Give me a break. He's got a point. I know I got a point. Yeah, I, think we should go. I think we've summed it up. <laughs> got Look. Yeah. We're going to take a quick turn. Taking a quick break from the <laughs> shanks. <laughs> It's like watching tennis. I don't it's, know what like, it's, it's like yeah, it's like going to religious study. We got our own problems with violence here, by the way. This week, the shooting of the model in New York City. Yeah. Then you had that uh, principal in Pennsylvania. The school kids in New Orleans. What's going on now? It's like uh, you know. That, let me ask you something. What are they going to do? Whoever the hell I was supposed to ask this to about all the shootings in school. Is there a way out of this? Yes, absolutely. The, I'll give you the answer. Okay. Those who shoot, you shoot them. And that's the end of that. Story. That's right. That's, that's a good the point. Way there. Wait a minute. I just said that. Hey. You gotta turn around when these guys now they're gonna turn around and put bulletproof things in the bank. You don't do that. You tell the next guy to rob this bank, I'm gonna whack you out. Dead. That's it. That's no right. more no more fooling around. He's got a good point. Right. I know I got a good point. Oh, wait, two seconds to check and make sure his prostate gland is all right, because he's really going nuts. <laughs> Dad, I'm concerned about okay. you. You got your two seconds. Go to all work. Right, you all right? You okay? No, check I'm it. having a nice check break, it. now. Right, That's why I make a lot of money. <laughs> check his pacemaker real quick. You okay? All right. He's I'm all right. Fine. Let him go. Okay. That's my man. Any kid that shoots his principal shows a lack of imagination. <laughs> you know? I mean, if you want to drive your teacher crazy, he did it slowly over a period of time. Any pussy can pick up a gun. But... <laughs> 
Now, what? That's a good point. What, Greg, NRA, are they responsible for this? What do you think? Uh, I, I don't think the NRA is responsible, but but it's like you know we have some sort of constitutional right uh, to bear arms, I guess. But, but what do you mean, you know, I guess? But, <laughs> well, because it's not clear. I mean, you know, you read that. Well, it's that, not that, clear. It's not clear. You read the language in the Constitution. Who knows what the original intent was? I mean, you guys were there. What no, were let thinking? me tell you something. Uh, the whole, the point is. Let me tell you something. No, the point, the point is, it's not clear. But it's not clear that there's an un, un, you know, unlimited right to bear arms. Like you look at the NRA, it's one thing to say, okay, you have some general right to bear arms as a state, but it's, it doesn't say, you know, you could have uh, bazookas, you could have, you know, I mean, and, and there's also like they don't accept any limitations on the right at all. Like California, for example, had a, a, a test, a written test, and which is based a literacy test, and the NRA is saying that's wrong because there shouldn't be a literacy test to own a gun. If you if you can't read, you shouldn't own a gun. No, I'll give no you one better. Patrice. I'll uh, give you one I'm better. Just saying, right. I'm just saying. Hey, I don't pay attention. I can't read. Listen to me. It's, this is the another thing. Let me give you one better. Just be, let me get this point across. You, I was in ahead. the service. <laughs> when they found out I was an Italian, they gave me a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't give me a gun. I swear to God. They put me in the kitchen. That's why I can't shoot nobody, but I can't give it a spoon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's your answer. But Rambo had a lot of guns. Rambo. He knows Rambo. I need that. This is, again, man, I hate to what? make this racer, man, but it, 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 when it, no, you, you, don't. Only, you only get concerned when white people are doing this, man. This is an NRA thing, and a, when white kids kill their well, teachers. Well, because if yeah, we're trying to the gangsters are killing each other, you don't say nothing. You don't care. You don't say about it. It's no subject matter. Well, because when we do it, it's an exception. You walk around loaded for bear. You probably got something on you right now. You guys invented violence, and when I say you guys white, but not not Irish and that, but the, the, the color white. Listen, here's the point. <laughs> point is, whatever you say about race, but do you believe in guns or gun control? Because I think if that principal yeah, had a gun, gun he would have opened his desk and blasted him. You only believe in gun control well, when it's affecting uh, close to you. You're right. When it's, that's when it's, when it's affecting about. close to me, it's then it's not gun control. Yeah. It's self-control, not yeah, gun, gun control. Well, gun, gun control. I mean, people should be allowed to have guns, right. but there should be licensing right. requirements, and there should be some limitations, waiting periods. Right. And, you, know, you can't wait three days. Right. I mean, yeah, sometimes you have to shoot somebody right away, but it should, you know, you should but be able to wait three days. most of the people days. that's doing I, the shooting are, are people that are going to get these, these permits, and they're people with permits for guns. No, the, that, people, that's not the, true. the gangsters are getting permits. The, the people that. Well, that's, that's exactly the point. My, my right. people are shooting each other. If I had a gun right, right now, I'd shoot myself right in the mouth because of this segment. <laughs> More socially relevant commentary with deep psychological underpinnings when we return. <laughs> Now, I know this is going to kill the uh, hand that feeds us, whatever the expression is, but they're saying that Americans watch. They said white Americans watch 58 hours of TV a week. Black Americans, Americans watch 75 hours of TV a week. Now, do we watch too much TV in general? I know that when I come home, I put the TV on because I feel scared if it's not there. Don't you blacks feel weird? Watch, blacks watch the radio. They watch the radio? <laughs> That's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> Say something. Uh, uh, he's my father. I can't. Patrice. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Patrice. What, what do you think about that stat, first of all? First of all, who's doing these statistics? I, it's got to be somebody white. Second of all, black people don't... <laughs> black people, the reason we might... You might think we watch a lot of TV is because a lot of us fall asleep with the TV on. <laughs> Thank you. So... <laughs> It is, it is. Thank a, you, baby. <laughs> and, um, but there are more black shows on now. You got your WB, you got no, the First of all, the first of all, the WB, that's the kid. The WB don't even have black shows on no, no more. It's, None. Yeah, that's they right. used to, and they canceled all the black shows and put Dawson's Creek and all that. Yeah, they have all the, the young white gay shows. Superman thing that you're watching and yeah. all that other stuff. But, but the UPN still has all those, like, those one name comedians that we never heard of, but they sell out. You've North heard Carolina of them all. Stadiums. Which one? Name one. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, here at the St. Louis Technodome, it's Peabody. I don't know. Peabody? <laughs> D.O. You got a name as well. Oh, one name. Flex. You're right, though. That's good, Patrice, and I appreciate that as a fellow comic. I was kind of exaggerating, and you go, You've heard of them all. Yes, I have in real life, but I was trying to be humorous, <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Of course, blacks watch more TV. There's, there's not a hell of a lot to do in jail. It's like, you know. I mean, uh, well, no. I, before you Coming from a Puerto Rican, that really is. <laughs> well, you, know, you watch just, any black shows on TV with any black people? Does uh, anybody watch any white uh, shows? Who watches Friends? Who watches this? Stuff? I don't know. I've I never don't know. seen it in life.
What, you don't watch any shows with white people on them? I try not to. I try hard. Sopranos? <laughs> never watch people. Sopranos. Never. Never see Friends. Never. Uh, cop. Shut up. Latin people have different. Uh, <laughs> Latin people have different shows. They watch. We watch mostly those Spanish. Right. Network shows. Those are the number one shows. And the number girls. two show is the uh, is the static that comes on your screen when your illegal cable's cut off. Right. I watch the Latin shows. They only got one word that consistently: corazón, 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 and corazón. I just get to know all the other words. Everything's corazón. That means my heart. So every Latin song you hear is my heart. It's true. How much but heart can you have? It's, it's true. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, man? <laughs> this is education, brother. Does somebody way, have yeah. a defibrillator? He's dying. No, listen. <laughs> Cut us on. I thought he was having a stroke. <laughs> but you do. Uh, you know what? This Sorry, subject. The uh, let's talk about. Uh, well, first of all, the uh, let's talk about California. They have protests going on. This time they're saying standardized tests are racist. But the point is this: if you do decide to make tests, you know, culturally relevant, what are you going to have? Some tests like some math tests. Like if Jamal travels six miles in his Escalade to the other side of Crenshaw. How many eight tray crips will it take two hours to get 16 9 millimeters past the 5 0 to pull a 187? <laughs> do you think us uh, did nice test the races, sir? Why do we make a big epic out of stupidity? All you gotta do is be a nice person, do the best you can, and die. That's the end of it. <laughs> oh, Actually, the answer, is, the answer is seven crips. Seven crips. Yeah. Thanks very much, Al. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there doing his thing. Hey! <laughs> and that's no offense to the man in red, by the way. Uh -huh. We're going to do a buddy movie. You guys? Yeah. You should do a buddy movie. Like the straight Midwestern guy and like the, you know, half-mad blood from like, you know, Kansas City or something. I'm not half-mad. No, I'm you, be... well, oh. all right. <laughs> you, you guys, you guys, you guys should do a buddy movie. <laughs> Who? You me two. And Pat? No. Old and older. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How old? That Listen, was pretty damn good. You know, good first one. of all, I really <laughs> dig the spiked hair scooter. When did that happen? That's what I want to know. <laughs> You well, he's really got a like point there, you know, Greg. <laughs> yeah, really, hip -hop. I mean, let's I face it. What did this happen? You used to be Hispanic, and now you're, you know, I don't know, Jimmy I, that's from look, Jersey. Look, what, a lot of us go on. Aha, uh -huh, hit Frankenstein. L listen, uh, <laughs> settle down there, settle down there, ton DMC. Look, oh. a lot of us. Uh, Let's go back to the, all right, we'll go back to the other subject. We can, your wish is my command. Let's go back to it. We're talking about TV, right? Right. All right, black people watch, like he said, you know, a lot of times you'll be, if you've ever been in any kind of uh, holding facility, suddenly it's like six <laughs> brothers going, yo, put on Maury, man. But it's like I sit in the back like this. There's no Nielsen boxes in prison, man. It's all from Miss Nielsen. I know. Only, uh, once again, only, we're trying yeah, to be humorous, yeah, but yeah, I'm sorry. Know, but... Shut up. <laughs> Tell me this. Wow. There's I no just... Nielsen boxes in prison. Hey, thank you, literal ass. <laughs> Why don't you just... I'm just saying. I'm trying to I'm just say you doing my false statistics, man. You're right. And white people always Why be... Why do you think so there's false? no white entertainment television? There is white entertainment. Every other channel, except for BET, is white entertainment television. Oh. That's right. Oh, that's no, thank you. Know you. What? But, That's but right. look, the fact is, black people, you know, it's, it's an obvious point that black people and white people view television differently. I mean, I've seen a lot of black comics, and it's true, you know, black people, they talk to the screen, they're cool, and white people watch TV, and they're like, uh, Bernice, fix me an herbal tea. You know, well, that's a cultural thing. That comes from church. Uh, you, go church Tom Tom show. you go to a white church. Oh, he's, he's, talking about. he's just <laughs> mocking the entire like idea of comedy and people doing that. I routine. know what he's talking about. <clears throat> you, but, you, you answer me oh, yet? I'm sorry, Pat. You've hey, been obsessed with your You, you complained over the weekend because they made a couple of phone calls. So you didn't phone calls? It was an epic. I thought I was doing Gamma to Women, this goddamn show. <laughs> oh, this is a half an hour show. They cut me calling. Can you don't say this? Say hello. Go on. Come over here. Here's another fax. Leave me alone already. That's this right. is not Gamma with the Wind. That's this is not a career move. That's movie. right. I'm finished anyway. And you're the future. I'm re I rehearse every Thursday to die. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break already. Don't leave nice. me alone with these people. Come back after the commercial. Yo, West Indian. <laughs>
<laughs> now, the big movie coming up right now is X-Men 2. Lots of people are hoping to see that one. But in Palestine's newspaper, Al Ayam, how much you want to bet this is the Mexican thing? The headline reads, Jews in Hollywood make millions from unnatural mutant violence. <laughs> hmm. In Minneapolis, no excuse for that one, that was the right picture. In Minneapolis, <laughs> hundreds of fans rioted and looted after Minnesota won that college hockey uh, championship and it caused a million dollars worth of damage. Or it's a hundred thousand, but I'm getting desperate. <laughs> the Baghdad paper, Al Balbil, takes a more optimistic view of what happened. They say, uh, Minneapolis liberated. <laughs> you know, what can I say? I'm nine tenths of the way through it, folks. No backing out now. <laughs> You live and learn sometimes on national TV, sometimes when they give you the old Hevo. All right. Now, I'm not free of this either. Here's an interview I did with Entertainment Weekly a while ago. Look at the same interview when it came out in Source Magazine. Cracker Cracks Wise on Corrupt Comedy Channel. <laughs> Holla back. We'll be right back. Been conducted. They said I was sloppy and unprofessional. That's ridiculous. Hi, folks. Anyway, uh, <laughs> one thing about America is that we're known for our tolerance of all different groups, right? Blah, blah, blah. Everyone's you know, in today's crazy, wacky world, what other group, because a lot of people are getting intolerant of Islam over here, what other group? Would you be uh, intolerant of? Do you feel we're too tolerant of? Mr. Pat. Producers of movies and TV shows like The Sopranos and always portray the Italians as mobsters. Sure, we kill a few people, 10 or 20 or 30, <laughs> but that's another story. <laughs> what about the sweet old Italian grandmothers who stand over a hot stove cooking the gravy all day? What about the greedos who don't wear 10 pounds of golden chains? What about the few innocent priests who haven't molested little boys? But as an Italian, <laughs> the real reason I'm pissed is that I auditioned for The Sopranos. They told me I wasn't Italian enough. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do, you do look kind of Irish, Pat. I mean that as a compliment. Anyway, uh, <laughs> The one group we should no longer be tolerant of is overindulgent parents who bring their baby strollers into restaurants. They, ro they roll in these eight-wheel monstrosities with their noisy rugrats to the edge of a table blocking an aisle and leave them there. The parents then look around beaming with pride as if to say, Look at what we created. Hey, nitwits, the only thing you've created is a major obstacle for other patrons and the wait staff. The strollers are too big. Carry the kid in a papoose like a Navajo, and maybe you'll burn some calories off your ass as well. <laughs> now that's multitasking. Yeah. All right. Pat, even though I love all the comedian things, I try to discourage applause. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm gonna lay down here. What is your problem? I'm not the only one here. Bug, bug, bug the black guy for half an hour. Patrice. <laughs> I like his racism better because it's old school. <laughs> Somebody's really being tolerant of old white actors making awful movie after awful movie. <laughs> <laughs> John Travolta is still riding that Pulp Fiction train. He's been back to look who's talking for him for the last 10 years. Let, let Denzel Washington make Battlefield Earth, and he'd be hosting a game show by now. And then there's, there's Bruce Willis, Kevin Costalone. They're all finished, and I'm tired of pretending that Arnold still has muscles. He, <laughs> he looks like Pat Cooper. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll be back from where? Colon surgery? I'd rather... <laughs> to see Alan Havy in his deleted scenes from Knock Around, guys. <laughs> Greg, Greg Giraldo. Uh, we've been way too tolerant of homeless guys with dogs. <laughs> Look, I've drank enough in my life to have sympathy for a good old-fashioned crackhead drunk. But, but these guys with dogs bug me. They're usually young punk rock squatter types pushing the emotional buttons of every stupid animal lover that'll step over a legless Vietnam vet to put a dollar in the cup of a 19-year-old with 50 piercings and a puppy. You know, if you put half the effort into school that you did turning your face into a tackle box, maybe you wouldn't have to whore out your dog for smack money. Next up, show, folks.
<laughs> we'll be here burning at the stake. Um, <laughs> if I can find a store that sells steaks at this hour. So good night. And uh, you are it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever said love is blind probably wasn't until...